Okay, good morning. Let's get right into the stock market technical analysis. If you come to this channel, you're interested in trade ideas, you're looking for trade setups, you're looking for you know opportunities to profit in the market. That's what this channel is all about. Again, I'm not gonna hit every trade out of the park. I'm not gonna get every trade right. 100% guarantee that I can give is that I will get some of these wrong. And so it's important to manage our risk. By that, I mean proper position sizing. You know, proper stop loss management, proper uh, taking trades that have good risk reward ratio. Okay, so that's just that's part of the trading that um, I do teach that in my course. I teach you know how to evaluate a, a good trade setup. Okay, so if you're interested in that, check out the link below. Again, also in that course, I go through trend line analysis, divergence analysis, candlestick analysis. It's kind of the full complete picture, and I give you guys a checklist that you're gonna to wanna to use. I use it every single time, uh, every day in my head, but I set that out in a checklist that you can really look at and say, okay, is this a good trade? Is it worth the risk? Okay, because again, at the end of the day, it's all about putting the probabilities in your favor and then managing risk. There's no guarantees in this game. It's we, we find the probabilities when they're in our favor and then we take risk and then we manage it. All right, so that's trading. So check that out, link in the description below, guys. All right, next up. Drop me a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. It helps the channel. Finally, uh, over the weekend, I'm going to get this membership uh, put together. And again, I'm going to be starting a new membership. Like, essentially, at least in the beginning, what the membership is going to be is I'm going to send, send out maybe quick trade ideas, charts, do some member-only videos covering some of the, the best setups that I can find. I'm not going to hold, you know, I'm, I'm still going to give good setups. I'm still going to give really solid setups on the channel. I'm not going to just only give that to members. So don't worry about that. There's still going to be good content that I'm giving out uh, for free. I just want to give the people that have been with me for a while and that continue to encourage me, uh, you know, give them some added value. All right. So that's really what that's about. And then again, the live streams that I've been doing on Saturdays, where you can bring your subscriber stock picks, bring your charts to me. Uh, I, you know, I give you about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half of my time on a Saturday. I'm gonna do that only for members, okay? That's Saturday time, that's valuable time for me. Uh, and again, I don't, I don't think I should be giving that away for free. So if you want to become a member, I'm gonna price it very affordable, guys. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna break the bank. You know, I'm looking at five bucks a month. Uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. So, you know, 60 bucks a year for, uh, you know, a full year's worth of trade ideas and analysis in the membership. In my mind, that's that's peanuts, right? I mean, we make that in one trade. We make that in, in you know, seconds or lose it in the market. So, again, that's going to be coming out. I'll, I'll get that together this weekend. All right. Finally, charts. Let's get into it. Triple Qs. Looks like we're starting to see some selling, but nothing crazy right now. Again, not a big change from yesterday's price action. Uh, we still have negative divergence. I've got that kind of marked out. Here it is on the hourly negative divergence, both momentum indicators. Uh, and going back to the daily, we're just running into, you know, what should be big resistance right right in here about three, you know, the 329 ish should really be about as far as this thing can go. Um, it could go up to the 200 and then reverse. Maybe we do that. I suspect, and this is just a gut feel, but I suspect they don't even hit this trend line. I suspect the sellers step in early, okay? It's a key level. We, this is a bear market rally until we until proven otherwise, we're in a bear market rally and we wanna treat it as such. You don't wanna be greedy. And that's kind of what I'm looking at. You know, I've already gotten short. I don't wanna be greedy and hold out for the last little bit and then miss, miss you know, the seller stepping in early and then miss my key position. Okay, so again, I want to be shorting into resistance. I don't want to, you know, wake up and then sold down and then you want to jump on the short down here. That's too much risk for me because it could, that's about the time they reverse it and bounce it on you. So I want to be shorting and I'm stepping in a little early. Um, so far, nothing crazy. Uh, we're, you know, it's kind of hanging in there. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. One thing though, XLY, all right, this is consumer discretionary again right at resistance, look at this. On the daily, resistance, 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 and resistance. Okay, so expect some games to be played right in here. You know, they're, they're at the trend line, maybe they're gonna pop it a little bit, run some stops. That's expected, you have to just almost expect that. So just, you know, in my mind, I'm willing to ride out little pops like that. 
unless I see something big, uh, I suspect we're gonna get rejected here. XLK, this is tech, all right? Again, daily chart, resistance, resistance, resistance. Again, expect some games to be played, but if you go to the hourly chart, negative divergence right there um, on the PPO and the RSI, okay? And we're at major resistance. So those are you know just two sectors, XLI, uh, industrials, same thing. All right, resistance, resistance, resistance. Going to the hourly chart, um, this one, divergent high basically right now, where you can see we're popping, making a new high, and yet it's a divergent high. So this is what I'm seeing across the board on a lot of these, uh, a lot of these sectors. IWM, small caps. <clears throat> okay, so small caps, again, a couple things, and I, I know the chart looks messy. Guys, someone made a comment yesterday that my chart's got 50 lines all over. These are like, a, this is like a battleground, okay? And all these lines are past battles we've been fighting. What you really want to focus on is, is kind of the, you know, the trend lines I'm really keying off of. And again, I do these videos every day and I use these charts uh, myself for analysis. I don't always have time to go back through and clean up all the lines that I'm trying to show you. So what I want to show you on this one is this trend line right here, resistance through here, okay? And we're above it right in here. But if I go to the hourly, you can see we've got this bearish rising wedge pattern. All right, look at that, boom, boom. Oh, draw it out. There's a bearish rising wedge pattern right there. And we're just waiting for that breakdown. I think it's probably gonna happen today, um, waiting for some sort of a sell signal. If you get that breakdown, boom, that's a break of the bearish rising wedge. And I think we're likely gonna fail this major trend line and, and that's gonna be all she wrote for the IWM. We're gonna head lower. Negative divergence here, bearish rising wedge, just uh, this this sell signal is almost imminent. Uh, and again, if we break down, we're probably gonna break this trend line here and that's gonna be all she wrote. I think we're heading a lot lower, you know, probably at, probably down to this 159.50 area. New trade idea, LLY, sell signal today. We'll see how this holds up. They like to play games with this thing, but what I've got on this one is bearish rising wedge here, okay? You can see I've got it marked out, bearish rising wedge. Big negative divergence on the daily chart. Look at that negative divergence. This thing's been building for a while, so that's signaling a, a major trend change. Uh, you know, this divergence is signaling that we're looking for a major trend change. And today, gap down and, you know, pretty impulsive selling. The buyers are stepping in a little bit right now. We'll see what they're trying, you know, if they can hold it. But that is a sell signal right there. So, you know, I'm looking to probably take a trade here. I'd like to see how the day, you know, as the day progresses a little bit, see if the buyers can step in and recover this. But I suspect they won't. I think we're just, go to the hourly. I think we're just seeing, you know, a little counter, counter move right now in this hour. And I think we roll over into the day, confirming that sell signal. So again, sell signal there. As of right now, the sell signal is intact. You know, but this is a daily chart, so we need to see a daily close for a full confirmation of the sell signal. Gold, okay, guys, gold. I wanna look at the gold futures this time. I don't always look at these, but um, I think it's important to look at the futures. I have them up in all my charts, and I'm always looking at the futures. I just don't cover them a lot in this channel because most of the people here on YouTube probably aren't trading futures. Uh, and I don't trade futures either. They're, they're definitely higher risk. Um, futures here, um, high risk, high reward. Gold futures though, I've got a, this kind of downward channel here, right here, and we have bullish divergence that was building right through here, and boom, we had a breakout just the other day, starting to break, you know, starting to continue higher. So gold futures look good to me. Uh, flipping over to gold, gold bullion, you know, continuing higher. Uh, we're, we bounced off that support there at 1680, good solid support. Uh, no bullish divergence on the daily chart, but I definitely think it was there on the hourly. Um, yeah, we had some bullish divergence that was building right through here on the hourly. So this low in price still was a divergent low right there. So that's why we've continued to rally. So gold still looks decent. Coming into what looks to be some resistance right up here about 1805. That's this downtrend line. We've We've had a lot of reactions on this trend line here. We broke it once, it failed, and now we're coming back to it. We break back above it, especially if it's impulsive. You see an impulsive break above it. 
I think that's signaling that this move down here, this big drop was a big bear trap, and we're now going to see that next bigger leg higher in gold. Okay, I've been looking for that. Still don't see it, but um, definitely looking for it. GDX, uh, you know, look at GDX. Bullish falling wedge, bullish divergence on the momentum indicators. Started to break out. Like, we, you know, it's just not impulsive, but look, we've, we've gotten above there today. You know, we'll see if they can, if the buyers continue to step in and we bid this up and it closes a nice green candle, something like that, maybe 5% or so, then we probably can say that's a buy signal and we finally have a, a breakout of this bullish falling wedge pattern. All right. And we get that first level of resistance is 2887. Uh, big resistance there. So you're going to have to battle it there probably, but I think you can run up, hit that, probably get a pullback. And then finally, you know, break break above it. But 2887 is the first level of resistance from where we're at right now. It's a move up of about, nah, it's about close to 10%. Okay, that's what I have on that one. And just when I'm scanning these miners, you know, they just look decent. Here's AG. I pointed this out as a buy signal back here on July 28th. I said, look, we have a bearish falling, sorry, bullish falling wedge bullish divergence on the daily chart. So signaling kind of a longer term trend change. And we had that buy signal on the 28th. And you can see we basically, there's your buy signal right there. A little pullback, boom, impulsive, you know, nice big move today up almost 8%. Looks like we're continuing to go. We've got some resistance right up here about seven, nine, or sorry, 829, 830. That's this trend line coming off the all time highs. All right, so very similar to gold. Uh, but we've got some resistance right in there. So you probably get a little pullback there. But again, this is a breakout and this we have a bullish divergence on the daily. So I'm more open to just kind of hanging in and, and seeing this thing run higher. The dollar though, the dollar's still gonna be a headwind. So we need to see the dollar break. The dollar's doing exactly what I thought it was gonna do. If you go back a couple days, I talked about how the dollar was falling to support right there. There's support. So again, I've got it kind of marked out, all right? and support and I figured okay we're likely going to get a bounce here and this is what I thought it would do I thought it would be bounce and then come back in hit the trend line and ultimately break the trend line and fail why do I think we're going to break the trend line and fail well big negative divergence on the daily chart right there got it kind of marked out but see the negative divergence we're dropping off in momentum as the dollar has continued higher divergent high divergent high divergent high all right, we hit the trend line, we bounce, we probably break now and head lower. So look for that. That's probably what's gonna happen. No guarantees, but that's what it tells me in the chart. Amazon, okay, so Amazon, you know, it's just still chopping around up here. Again, you got resistance in the 200 day, it's just right overhead, right there. So I think we're likely gonna get an island top cluster, island reversal cluster. See that we've got a kind of an island here where you gap up, create a couple days. I think we're gonna gap down and create that island cluster top. That's, if I had to guess, um, if I look at the hourly chart, look, <clears throat> you've got, you keep making little highs, popping up, making new little highs, but they're each, each one's a divergent high. Negative divergence on the momentum indicators, divergent high, there's another divergent high. Again, it, we're just, we're not going anywhere. The, the, the risk reward is clearly to the downside. I don't think there's much more upside with big resistance, putting in the di divergence, and so to me, it still makes sense to be short right in here on this one. Yeah, you could go a little higher. Obviously, we could pop up and hit the 200 day, hit this trend line. This trend line, if I roll out, I want to just, you know, show you how significant this trend line is. <clears throat> if I, I almost have to go to the weekly to show you. This is coming off of Amazon's IPO price. Okay, so you've got support, you know, kind of hit it right in there. I could probably even adjust this maybe just slightly something like, you know, you could probably go like that. But the point is <clears throat> right there, see all these tags, there's another one of, uh, of this trend line. And then as I roll out or zoom in to time, you can see, boom, big breakdown, big sell candle, breakdown candle on the weekly, and we're just back testing. So yes, we can go a little bit higher for sure. That is possible, but it's limited, all right? the the and and rather than wait for the last penny, you know, the sellers could step in early. So just keep an eye on the triple Qs and the, you know, the small caps. Those are likely going to signal when this is done. I think we're getting close. 
All right, that's all I got for today, or at least this morning, guys. Drop me a thumbs up. Check out my course if you haven't done so and you're really interested in learning this as a skill set. That's years worth of my experience and knowledge contained into a course. It's not free, but it's priced very affordable to uh, really take leaps and bounds in your in your knowledge base. Uh, again, when I started out trading, I was completely confused. I didn't know what was going on. You know, the charts, I didn't understand why one stock would move one way or earnings would come out and they'd be really good, but the stock would sell off or vice versa. It, it, it seemed like a big confusing game. That course really will help clear up a lot of stuff for you. And then as you apply it, apply the knowledge to the charts and use these videos and apply that knowledge, you'll see it start to come together. Okay. All right. And other, other than that, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Bye.